All right, and welcome to part three of episode four, Thicker Than Water. Enjoy. All right, so let's continue on. Her day gave was being a douche. What do you want, Javi? I know it sucks sometimes, but you've got to be a team player. It's about thinking of everyone. I get it, okay? Just quit treating me like a kid all the time. All right, so let's go check out. Look at. Don't say. That, that's gonna be a distraction. <laughs> this thing looks like it moves too slow for an escape. What's going on? Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. Sturdy, but only room for one. There it is. Let's go. Chances. I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. <laughs> Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? Can't start the engine, not without attracting a lot of attention. Nope. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Ready? Ready. Ready. You needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. Just push the damn truck. All right? What do you think I'm doing? I'm doing all the work. You're the one trying to have a conversation here. That's more like it. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. 
Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Mm -hmm. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? Yeah, no problem. Almost there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. Wire cutters should help with this. Wait, I actually have to guess which ones to go together? Oh boy. Gotta connect the battery to the ignition. So what's what? Oh. Let there be light. In the car. Now. Let's go. Now. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? Well, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really takes you back, doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. You're right. This is nice. If I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He like likes her. You get it? Well, okay, I sort of am. I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ugh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as 
terrible and tragic and just plain stupid. There's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet. But to feel something that intensely for another person. Hey, the falling in love is the easy part. It's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. Now, you did the best you could, Kitty. You kept this family alive as long as you possibly could. It counts for a lot. I hope you know, Javi, having you there with me, right by my side, all this time, that's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. I think that's just you know, who I am, you know? Not who I am now, at least. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. Oh boy, here comes the part. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. But before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know Whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really? <laughs> So are we gonna? Ah. Okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. I hope he can handle it. I know he's good under pressure, but this is different. Yeah. Here's hoping he doesn't completely flip out. Considering we're about to save his life, maybe he'll cut us a break. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You gotta get over here, now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. We gotta get over there. Now. going to hang back here, with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Aww. Good luck. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Well, we don't. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I'm getting a little worried about Ava. Something must have gone wrong. Something must have happened. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Glad to hear it.
Garcia has to be punished for what he's done. Shit. We can't wait for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... She's lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered this man in cold blood. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. I knew Joan was willing to fight dirty, but this is taking it to the next level. We gotta be ready to match her game. I think you're right. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Why should I, huh? What are you after? You think I'm trying to pull a fast one on you? She knows we're here now. We might as well. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you came here because you wanted to save your brother. Admirable. Almost. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Considering it's all of us against the three of you. If you knew what we were coming here to do, why go ahead with this? Why put a noose around my brother's neck? This community deserves justice, and they're going to get it. One way or the other. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no. They had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm going to do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Don't! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. If you're gonna punish anyone, it should be me, not them. So ready to sacrifice yourself for others. Don't worry, Javi. I'm not through with you yet. Son of a bitch. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend or your brother's lieutenant? Oh, man. Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid. You can't be serious. God damn you, Joe. Ah, uh, Trip Riva. Do the right thing, Javi. How could you do this? Trip has to live. He's invaluable. Son of a bitch. Javi, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're not making David happy, but I respect you for sticking up for your own people. Shoot it. Wait, I said Trip should live. You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. You can't do this. Fucking figures. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. Wait. No. No! 
Oh my god. They really shot him. Oh, god damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Hobby. You know what's going to happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody, put your guns away. We're going to handle this peacefully. And Clint. Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch. Take her out. She deserves it. If you don't do it, I fucking will. Let me out of here. I'll tear her apart. Uh, I'm gonna shoot. Who the hell, Joan? Kidding me. 
And that's it for this episode. I mean, this part of this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Alright everybody, thank you for watching this video and I, we appreciate all the support you've given us and please check out our uh, playlist and yeah, the next video, Patreon page and random video, I don't know what. It's random so go, go with it. And also please like and comment and subscribe to this video and subscribe to our channel of course, not subscribe to the video. Right, and that's it.